Hello everyone. Welcome to Meg Draft and Strength. Today's session is on cycloid. How to draw cycloidal curves. So, uh, here the circle is rolls along a straight line without slipping or sliding. So we are tracking one fixed point on its rim. Rim means the outer edge. As the circle turns, that point traces a curve point, so curve path. So it is called as cycloid. means the curve traces out by a point on the circumference of rolling circle without slipping or sliding it is known as the cycloid and after one full turn means after one complete revolution of circle a point completes one arc and that arc width is equal to always the circumference of circle here the rolling circle is called as a generating circle and the straight line it is called as a directing line okay and uh, cycloid curves are used in gear tooth profile and also used in cams so let's see how the question may ask in exam so in question the diameter of circle is given 40 mm which is rolls along a straight line without slipping okay and draw the curve traces out by point p on the circumference for one complete revolution so we have to draw a curve for one complete revolution and the diameter is given and what they ask name the curve means always remember one thing whenever in question the circle is slide on a straight line means you have to draw a cycloid so let's start our actual construction draw a circle of diameter 40 mm and then divide that circle into 12 equal parts and name that point as 1 to 12 and mark that point in a clockwise direction because our circle is rolls in a clockwise direction on the straight line and next step draw a line at the bottom of the circle on which the circle rolls and uh, line of length is equal to circumference of circle so the circumference of circle is equal to pi d means our uh, distance comes 125.6 so we will take 126 mm so next step divide that straight line into 12 equal parts so check my previous video i show how to divide the straight line into equal parts using basic geometric method name that part as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash up to 12 dash and draw a line perpendicular to the directing line at point 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash up to 12 dash and mark as a c1 c2 c3 up to c12 where it intersect the center line respectively next step draw a horizontal line which is passing through 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Uh, so here we are assuming that the generating circle complete one revolution in 12 step so that's why we are divide that circle into 12 parts okay. so the position of point p is lift up to the height of the horizontal line and the center is also shifted from c0 to c1 then c1 to c2 in compass check a radius is equal to 20 mm place metal point on c1 and mark a horizontal line which drawn from point 1 with the same radius distance cut the arc to the remaining horizontal lines and the last step draw the smooth curve through the point p p1 p2 up to p12 and this is all about cycloid hope you like the session thank you